Both the Bulldogs and the Lions were desperate for a win after losing their round one encounters, but Brisbane had the harrowing task of seeking their first victory for the season without the help of their skipper. The first quarter remained goalless until the 11 minute mark when it took a veteran to show them how it's done. Distance not a worry, oh, nor the accuracy. Gian Syracuse contributing the Dogs second soon after. Perfect ball, Gian Syracuse goal. Bullies are back. There were some slight fumbles, but it was certainly clear which side had the upper hand. Drives it long, drives it all the way home. Matthew Boyd. Brisbane struggling against the Bulldogs' attack. Inaccurate and plucked on the line. Their defence has been horrendous. He does run around and kicks the goal. Makes them pay full price. Hall ploughed through his opponents to kick his second. He can smell another one. It's getting nasty. And Michael Voss had some stern words for his side at quarter time. A former rising star attempting to restore their pride. Turnover. Banfield. Can they get a goal? Rich needs to slice it through the middle. And as he so often does, he misses. The big man at the other end made it look easy. Griffin gives Lost it over. Goal, yeah. And Barry Hall should slice it through. He rolls it through. Hall has three. It took a second gamer in Ryan Lester to find the Lions' first goal. Lester! Finally! Hallelujah! And when Clark found the middle of the sticks soon after, it seemed as if Brisbane had finally found their mojo. Clark, he gets the snap away and they get another. There were glimpses of magic. Beautiful kick. Spectacularly good. But the Bulldogs responded with Sherman's first goal against his old side. Sherman from the pocket puts it through. She and Syracuse are stretching the Dogs' lead to 41 points at half time. Now the biggest lead of the game. Higgins kicked his sides first in the second half as Grant decided to steal some glory for himself. Short, Higgins, stolen by Grant. He'll run in and goal. Oh. <laughs> Lions like lambs to the slaughter. And when the lead became 65 points, the Dogs may have spoken too soon by substituting Barry Hall for Nathan Jakira. That was the shortest substitution in the history of the uh, AFL. But the ball magnet's absence made room for other stars to shine. Ruff heads the go-to man. It sits for him. He goes. Oh, oh he's got it. That's a big one. Magnificent. That's why they've taken Barry Hall off play. Yeah, should have done it earlier. With a 60-point lead at three-quarter time, the Bulldogs were looking comfortable off the field, but not on. Oh, bang! Cross and power. They've clashed heads. They're both hurt. I think Cross a little more hurt than power. The match getting physical with a clash between former teammates. Oh! Buchanan! He's Hello. down hurt. Boyd added to his 29 disposals with his second goal, as Griffin produced the highlight of the afternoon with his third. McGrath, Griffin, Griffin takes him on, a little shimmy, shakes him, kicks a goal. There's your goal of the afternoon. What a goal. From a superstar on the rise. Polkinghorne did little to ease his side's pain with two majors in 30 seconds. The dogs inflicting more salt into their opponents' wounds with 12 of the last 15 goals. Jim Syracuse, there's that bodywork again. That's a goal! The home side getting their season back on track with a 78-point victory and giving the Lions a lot to think about on their trip back home. Lisa Brougham, Big Pond Sport. <laughs>